Welcome to AI Bedtime Stories. Today's story is called Crimson Whispers Beyond. In the sleepy coastal town of Eldritch Cove, where fog hugs the cliffs even on the sunniest days, World Redhead Day was celebrated with an unusual fervor. The town, founded by settlers with predominantly red hair, held a deep, communal pride in their fiery locks, viewing them as a symbol of their unique heritage. However, beneath this innocuous tradition lurked a tale that stretched the boundaries of the known universe and delved into the realm of cosmic horror. Cora Beacon, a young woman with hair the color of autumn leaves, had always felt an inexplicable connection to the sea, its vast, undulating expanse seeming to call to her in dreams and waking moments alike. As World Redhead Day approached, Cora's dreams grew more vivid, filled with visions of ancient, whispering cities beneath the waves, and of beings whose presence tugged at the very fabric of sanity. On the eve of the festival, a mysterious artifact washed ashore near Cora's home, a statuette depicting a strange, octopoid creature, its tentacles intricately carved to resemble waves. Compelled by a force she could neither deny nor understand, Cora took the statuette to her grandfather, Edgar, the town's unofficial historian. Edgar's eyes widened upon seeing the artifact. He told Cora a forgotten piece of Eldritch Cove's history, of how their ancestors spoke of the Crimson Covenant with beings from beneath the sea, beings that granted them prosperity and protection in exchange for their worship. The statuette, Edgar revealed, was a relic of that ancient pact, long thought lost. Driven by a need to understand her visions and their connection to the statuette, Cora and Edgar delved into the town's archives. They uncovered old journals and maps that hinted at rituals performed by their ancestors on World Red Head Day, conducted at a hidden cove, where the barriers between worlds were said to be thin. As the day dawned, Cora decided to visit this cove, her red hair almost glowing against the gray morning. Edgar, too frail to accompany her, watched from a distance as she navigated the rocky path that twisted down to the sea. At the cove, Cora found ancient symbols carved into the cliffs, matching those on the statuette. As she held the artifact aloft, the sea churned violently, and the air filled with a low, haunting melody that seemed neither of this world nor another. It was then that the waters parted, revealing a path leading down into the depths, to a city that should not exist. Cora walked the path, drawn by the whispers of an ancient, alien intelligence that promised answers and truths hidden from mankind. The city below was a marvel of non-Euclidean architecture, glowing with an eerie, bioluminescent light. The beings she met were not of any earthly origin, their forms shifting and changing, challenging her perception and her sanity. In this city, Cora learned of her true heritage and the price of the Crimson Covenant. The prosperity of Eldritch Cove was bound to the return of these beings, who now sought to breach the surface world, using the red-haired descendants as their conduits. Faced with the reality of her ancestors' pact, Cora made a choice. Using the knowledge she had gained, she altered the terms of the covenant, offering herself as a guardian rather than a conduit. By accepting this role, she would protect both the town and the cosmic balance. Returning to the surface, Cora explained everything to Edgar. Together, they prepared Eldritch Cove for a future where they acknowledged and respected the depths not with fear, but with a guarded reverence. On World Redhead Day, the town of Eldritch Cove no longer just celebrated their hair. They celebrated the Crimson Guardian, Cora, who stood watch over the whispers beyond, ensuring that the cosmic horrors remained a part of their history, but not their destiny.